learning to forget in the video age. This morning on the World Service, I heard a fantastic program called The Forum. It was a discussion program. One of the speakers on the program was an anthropologist, a linguist and anthropologist, who'd worked for 30 years with an Amazonian tribe called the Pinaha. What was remarkable about the Pinaha was their language. It was entirely empirical or empiricist. That means there were no words for anything outside immediate experience. There were no creation myths of how the tribe came to be. There was no description, no representation or evaluation of anything that lay beyond or outside the experience of the day-to-day -day of the tribe. Thus, they were confined, they were protected, but they were trapped by their language in one tiny tiny place on the globe and in one space of time the space of time of single lifetimes they didn't even speak of their ancestors or of anyone that had died they were simply confined to the present this led me to a lot of thinking obviously thinking about western society western cultures I think our language is going in that direction towards being an entirely empirical language, just as our experience of life is heading in the same direction. What can't be observed, reported, recorded doesn't exist. There's no sense of history, no sense of continuity. We simply work towards the achievement of short-term goals. We work towards the solution of short-term problems short-term solutions for short-term problems. Is this because we live in the information age? Our senses are continually under attack from information. Fact, fact, facts in our learning at school and college. How to, how to, how to in the form of guides. How to improve your text analysis, for example. And once we've passed our exams, it's all forgotten. Perhaps we need to be able to bin to forget this knowledge, to avoid becoming overburdened. However, the implications for our relationships, our identities, our societies, our civilization are quite concerning, quite worrying. Who will teach us to build enduring selves, enduring identities? Who will teach us to build enduring relationships, enduring cities? We live in a world in which we learn and we learn to forget. How will we learn to build an enduring and meaningful society in a world in which history is dissolving around us and we are lost in particular spots of time, trapped in the moment? I know the answer to this one, I know the answer to this one. But I can't remember!